During the summer of 2021, she started filming the Netflix reality show Selling Tampa, which followed her company Allure Realty, an all-black, all-female real estate firm in Florida. While she celebrated the debut of her new show, she also found out she and Chad were expecting a baby girl. She gave birth to her fourth child and Chad's eighth in January 2022. Sherelle told Page Six, Our hearts are full and our family is complete. After giving birth, Sherelle returned to her duties as a realtor and reality star. As for Chad, he tweeted, I manifested the life I've always dreamed of, and that's becoming a stay-at-home dad. A year later, they got engaged again, according to People magazine. Their January 2021 engagement that Sherelle announced wasn't official. People wondered what kind of cuckoo bird would fake an engagement, complete with an engagement ring and a wedding band. It was at this point that people really started to side-eye Sherelle. Either way, Chad presented her with a seven and a half carat engagement ring, and she said yes. By the time 2024 rolled around, everyone was anticipating their wedding since Chad had revealed they planned to tie the knot in 2024 in the Bahamas. But during a June 2024 episode of the Nightcap podcast, he opened up about some problems they had at home. Like she really, she be, she be talking to me crazy, like raising her voice at me. Like, and it's all, it's like, like, because she like the, the breadwinner, like she talked to me any kind of way. People couldn't tell whether he was being serious or if he was joking, but then, just four months later, Sherelle hopped on Twitter to confirm that they were no longer together. Let me let me tell y'all something. I understand wanting to be a stay-at-home dad. But it won't work. It don't work. Statistically, it don't work. It just don't work. Can it? Okay, let me say this. Can it work? Absolutely. Is it probable? No. Why? Because even you see, and I'm going to show you another clip here, but even you see, she was disrespectful. Now, here's the thing. We just made a whole big video talking about how men should pay, pay for everything. If you haven't seen that live stream, go fuck with it. More clips coming out on that as well. But men should pay for everything. One of the biggest things was the problem was that if because remember, we were watching the video talking about how men use money to control women, right? Video coming out soon. When you don't make, when you're not the breadwinner in the family, it always turns into this. It turns into disrespect. Women don't like men to make less to them. I don't care what you say. It just is what it is. That's just how they naturally are. Women are naturally hypergamous. They're always going to be that way. We can't change it. We can't fix it. If you want to be a stay-at-home dad, cool, that's fine. But what you need to be prepared for is that there's a very good chance that she's going to disrespect you. When you try to give your feelings or try to be important, she's going to laugh in your fucking face. <laughs> that's what she does to all her friends. She's going to be like, he ain't this. He ain't that. You ain't shit. I pay the bills. If you don't like it, get out. You Do you know what it feels like to be a man and have a woman tell you that if, she, if, she, if you're not... Oh, I know this is going. I know this is going to be. It's going to sound sexist, but it is what it is. Women are just a little bit more emotional. A woman who's emotional and the breadwinner is breadwinner is going to be a hard thing to deal with. It's a little bit different now. It's a little bit different in every situation. I get that, but in most situations, a woman who's emotional, y'all know how women are. A woman who's emotional and she's the breadwinner, boy, you're going to be in for a rough time, and she's going to feel like she can talk to you any kind of way, which is what I was talking about in that live stream the other day. When Corey Holcomb, Holcomb was talking about, I don't want a woman who makes the same money same money as me because she's going to feel like she could talk to me any kind of way. And then the woman who was talking about it was like, they, all the women in the video were fighting like, that's why you need to get your own. You don't want a man who feels like you can't talk to him any kind of way. Fine. Like I said before, you do whatever the fuck you want. Get your PhD. I'm a PhD. Go be the breadwinner. But Chad learned the same thing we're all going to learn. You get a woman who... You get one who's going to do that to you and disrespect you all the time. <laughs> if you get a woman who makes the same amount of money you or more than you, boy, you're out of luck, man. It's, it, it normally turns sour. Hey, your boy's been there. <laughs> I bet I'm one of, I bet when a girl who is a breadwinner, right? It don't work. It don't work. They're going to look at you sideways. So men, Always try to be the breadwinner because it's just better for the family. It just is, man.
It just is. It's not a control shit. It's not you trying to be better. It's if you want your family to function the best, I'm telling you, if you want the best outcome, I'm not saying there's a lot of variables and a lot of nuance, but I think one of the best scenarios is you being their provider, if you can do it, or at least be the one who makes more money. The only situation I've kind of ever seen it kind of work out is where y'all were both making the same kind of money. You were making more at some point, and at some point, maybe she, y'all, you, you're raising the kids, and then the kids are gone, and now she goes on to do something, and now she makes more money than you. Normally, that works out just fine because for all those years you were providing, most women have respect for that, obviously. You can't help it if she just happens to go get a degree or something that makes more money than you. You can't help that. But if this starts off that way, y'all get in a relationship and it starts off that way, no, sir, she gonna run you out of there. Neep, neep. It's gonna be gone. I would just say avoid it at all costs. But I also want you guys to hear this clip. Shout out to this brother. We got into it again. I I, I, I bullshit you not, and I'm not even playing it. She right here. I mean, I'm eating breakfast, right? Yes. I mean breakfast. I get my normal. I get my my French toast, mm -hmm. and I get my steak and eggs, right. right? And I get my fruit bowl. Okay. So she called my phone. So I placed the phone up. I got the phone in my hand and I'm eating my food. Right. So I got I got my sunglasses. I got my sunglasses sitting on my head. Right. My sunglasses fall by accident. Right. Not by yeah. accident. And I put them back up real fast. And the waitress was in front of me. Rail, rail. Who is think that? Somebody sitting at. She say, man, who in the is that sitting in front of you? I know you're not playing with me. Put your glasses back down. So I took my glasses. And I'm like, and I put them down on the table. She's like, Chad, don't you play with me. Right. I hear you in the background real laughing. And like she think it's funny. She say, I say, Mike, what are you talking about? Turn the camera around. I turn the camera around. He didn't turn the camera around. He didn't turn the camera Hold around. on. Listen. Uh, I turn the camera around. My plate of food is right there. My French toast. I had finished already, and I'm I'm eating my steak and eggs. I'm like, man, what is your problem? Then the waitress comes right back out, right again, and now the waitress nervous because she can hear her cursing, and I'm confused. Well, you acting up like that, real? Um, uh, it, 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 um, it, it was, it was, um, it was, it was, it was, it was so, it was so embarrassing <laughs> because I I didn't want to snap, and the waitress was like, the waitress got scared because she could hear her cursing, so the waitress went away the first time. And she came back to make sure everything was okay. Uh, that was hilarious. Like, that was real. That was hilarious. Um, what, um, I saw. What she snapped? Um, she snapped. Real, it, she snapped it, on it for real, real. Because uh, I was like, put your glasses back down. It was it no, looked, no. Tell, yes. tell him how you did it. Do it. Don't, 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 said, don't well, laugh. Put your glasses back down. I didn't say that. I said, did you tell? Did you tell him? No. He was playing in your face, real. I said, don't fucking no. play in my face now. You better be. In my face. That's what I said. No, say it how you said it. Say it how you said it over the phone. Say it. say it just how you said it. No. Man, she was talking. She was talking to me like I'm like I'm not even Ocho. Like she <laughs> like. Well, I mean, Chad. The good thing is you are, you, you still got bread. You you're a cool guy. He is, he ain't said, he? Dude, I cheer for Ocho Cinco. I cheer man. for Ocho Cinco too. I'm not talking shit about him. I'm talking shit about this situation. And I like them together. Like I like. Why? Them. What could you like when you see that woman take advantage no, 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 of this no, not man? Now, I'm not talking about now. I'm talking about with what I what I actually saw, like him <clears> talking <throat> about it, not her. When I would see him talk to on that Shannon Sharp show that they have together, that late night one. Yeah. I kind of like how he would bring her involved. You know, he would bring her in and talk about her a lot. And he, it seemed like they were happy is all I'm saying. It didn't seem, what I'm seeing now, I was like, ooh, I didn't so, know all that was happening. So, 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 so you say it seemed like they happy? It seemed at the time they were. Like every time he would do that. Do like you think involved. if a man bring his woman to a podcast and all of a sudden his woman is talking on the podcast, that's a sign of happiness? I didn't say that. I said that's that was, a sign. No, no, no. He didn't have her on the pod. He was always referring to her. When he would talk about a story, it's like they were, but they were just involved. It just sounded, it sounded all right. It I like saw were, her on the podcast one day. No, I'm not. Oh, on theirs. Oh, I never seen that. See, I'm talking about. She was about, off to the side. Oh, okay. she's been on there a few times. I'm just saying when he, he would, in other words, he would always uh, bring her up. And I thought, oh, that's sweet. He's always thinking about her. That's cute. If you see somebody with a podcast. And they woman or wife is on the podcast. That's a red flag. That is a sign for help. I believe this to be true. 
Well, and if your woman is on your podcast or on your streaming or anything, I'm just saying be weary. I don't I don't bring my wife on. I don't think you should bring your spouse on. Woman or woman or guy, I don't give a fuck. Just don't don't bring your people, your spouse on there. It, it just causes more problems than you should. Now you gotta be careful with being in a public relationship. You want if you want to be able to keep your family life separate, keep your family life off. But back to her disrespecting him and saying, don't fucking play in my face. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Listen, I'm going to say something. You guys who think that y'all can get with these toxic ass women because you can dick her down and make it. Splash. It don't work. I was talking to somebody about this the other day. And let's be real. That's what it was all about. You know, a bunch of we can always say that the relationship has went well. Toxic ass relationships survive as long as they do because of the sex. So I was talking to a young person the other day, and I was like, you know, you can never have a relationship survive off of sex. You know, they were talking about um, they got to make sure that they get with somebody who knows what they're doing in the bedroom. I said, if you think if you think sex is what holds a marriage together, you're stupid. <laughs> I didn't say that. I said, if you think marriage, if you think sex is what holds a marriage together, you got a long day coming for you because. Obviously, I'm married. I'm sure you married men can account for this. Um, women, you can too. Making it splash all the time. It, it, it's a good thing, but it don't hold the marriage together because there's just so much shit that goes on outside of that. I mean, unless you're fucking 20 hours a day, you know what I'm saying? Unless you fuck more than y'all talk, sex is a small percentage of the marriage. It can only last so long. And for all you people like, oh, my, my, my sex lasts three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That's kind of crazy. But for you guys, you're like, hey, we fuck for two hours. That's still only two hours out of a 16 hour day that you're awake. Okay. That, that, so obviously there's way more going on than sex. The vast majority of the time. Cause you got to go to work. You have to take care of the kids. It's just sex is just not going to hold the marriage together. So when you get these toxic relationships and Chad is obviously, I'm not, um, caping for Chad at, in any way, this is the man who I don't agree with his lifestyle. Having eight kids out of wedlock is just not something I can respect. Now, I'm not caping for him, but I am saying this to the men who want to get in relationships with women um, and you allow them to be toxic or you think you can be a stay at home dad. I'm going to say this, young men. And Chad is older than I am and he still don't know. Get men, period. If a woman starts to cut you, if she ever cusses you out before y'all get married, leave that girl. Gone. Get out of there. It's not going to work. Because she's going to end up knocking you upside your head one day. Just anytime. These women tend to get violent and it just never works out. I would always suggest if a woman cusses you out, brother, before y'all get married. The only grace I could even see if you're like, hey, you know what? It's not going to work. Maybe we can talk in the near future if you go to therapy. But if a woman cusses you out, do not marry that woman. Do not marry that woman. Okay. If you're already married and you're already in it, therapy, counseling, y'all need to have a sit down talk and be like, hey, look, I'm not a man who's for divorce. I'm really not. I'm divorce is the absolute last scenario. The only time I really start pushing for a divorce, and it's, I'm just talking from the men's side. Um, if it gets violent, because women who like are like that, once it starts to get violent, man, yeah, leave. Leave or separate. You'd be like, hey, I, I got to live somewhere else. Until you get help, you can't do it. Because men, uh, let me tell you, just uh, I've seen, and I'll talk about in my front, my, I've seen a woman stab a man and almost kill him because he allowed the violence to go on too long. I mean, talk about a traumatic experience, but I'm just saying it was horrible to watch. But that's because they let the violence go on. If your relationship gets violent at any moment, y'all need to separate. I'm not saying divorce. Okay, I'm not saying go find somebody else to be with. But yeah, you need to go to a separate house. Okay, and if it's really too crazy and they, they won't stay away from you, that's a real problem. Yeah, you need to divorce and do something to uh, protect your family to protect you. But if it ever gets violent, she ever hits you, she ever uh, does anything, yeah, man, separate. But it always normally starts with women who are disrespectful, who cuss you out and feel like they can talk to you any kind of way. Because if they can talk to you any kind of way, they're for sure going to believe they can put their hands on you. Because if you're just taking that verbal abuse, 
they're going to believe they can hit you at some point. They're going to feel like they can really put hands on you. And that always turns horrible. No matter how that situation goes, it's a, it's a horrible situation to be in. So if you get with a woman who ever cusses you out, especially before marriage, leave. Break up. You're going to be good, my man. You're going to be okay. Because I promise you, life will get much worse if you decide to be with a woman who feels like she can disrespect you. Okay? Once the respect is gone, brother, Shannon Sharp said it himself when he was with Skip, ba Skip Bayless. He always said that once the respect is gone, the show was over. It's done. Relationship is the same way before marriage. In marriage, you, you got to work through some things. But outside of marriage, ain't nothing to work through. She is not your wife. Oh, she should have left then. And you see how she treated him at the end. Quit tagging us in videos. He's a, f ladies, he's a free man. Like she was like, here he goes. I'm, I'm giving y'all my trash. That's how women, some women who have money. This is why I'm, this is what I was talking about in the control video. Women who have a lot of money, they're hard to deal with. They're just hard to deal with. That's why I disagree so vehemently in that video about, um, a woman have a lot of money means that you can't control her. I would absolutely agree with that, but it's it's, it's a completely different thing than you. Can, it, you can, nobody can control a woman who got money, meaning you can't even give her advice. You can't talk to her. You can't reason with a woman who has too much money. They're just difficult people because women just get a little bit of money, what they consider money, and they get disrespectful. They feel like they're independent. They feel like they can talk to anybody any kind of way, especially men. And they're just difficult people to deal with. So Chad learned a very good lesson. Do not, at any point in your life, <laughs> make a woman the breadwinner in your life. That does not make you insecure. I'm tired of hearing that bullshit. It does not make you insecure if you don't want a woman who makes more than you. It does not make you a loser. It doesn't make you less of a man. These women who make more money. I'm a PhD. They wild boy. Especially the unmarried women who start getting up in the upper 30s. They're the reason she's by herself, dog. Just let her buy her dog <laughs> and die alone. Quit trying to say these brides. Chad, you meet a girl like that again. I mean, bro, you, you really out here like that. But you guys, you meet a woman like this, leave, man. Don't try to save these women. Don't try to get her just because she's a little bit thick and you can make a splash every night. Boy, if you don't stop messing with this, because those women are dangerous, boy. Those women are the most dangerous women I know. Women with money. Women with money and an attitude. They are dangerous. And I'm not even trying to be. I'm not even trying to be disrespectful. They are just not worth it. So anyway, that's pretty much all I got. Stay away from these women, men. Stay away from I fucking fix my fucking bracelet. I'm not ending the video until I fix this. I'm not ending it like this. Men, stay away from these women. Because they will hurt you. They can get violent. And they will make your life. I want to say this. Hold on. Men. I'm sure you've heard this Bible verse that a man would rather live on the roof than live in the house with a, uh, a scornful woman. I know a lot of people take that as, you know, a woman can be difficult to live with. But I want to say this. A woman who is like what this woman, this man was, uh, like this um, woman was, they will make your life a living hell. Guys, there is nothing like being able to not be in your own home. I'm sure they were living together. Based off what the podcast was showing, they were living together. These women will make you want to do horrible things. And I'm serious. They will make you think bad thoughts. Bad thoughts. Do not. Don't try to play this game. Like, I'm not even trying to be, like, funny. Like, I'm not saying go test the waters. Because it doesn't always end well. Please, men. If you come across a woman with the attitude is toxic and with a fat ass, run the other way. It's just not worth it. That's why sex and pornography is so bad because this is what it does. It gets people, it gets men so fucking horny, ready to fuck every little thing that walks by that they end up in a relationship with these toxic ass people and their whole lives get ruined. Sometimes their lives get ended. Y'all know what I'm saying. So get out of that sex mindset. Stop watching uh, 
Stop watching women twerk online. Get away from the porn. Get away from the the, the Twitch girls. They are gonna fuck y'all up, man. And I, I I try to be serious about this shit and be I try to be funny about this shit, but I mean, dude, porn is an evil shit, man. And it, you see what it really does to men. I know it's funny to make fun of men who go off and jack off all the time. I get it, it's funny, but at the same time, man, it really ruins y'all. It really makes you go for women you should have never gone for. And y'all, y'all, it's so hard to see evil in women until you're in that situation. Some of you men who haven't been with a nice looking girl or a woman who's got a nice little body, maybe the sex is ungodly. I'm just going to call it what it is. I'm not going to say the sex is great because that's just like taking a drug. I'm not going to sit here and encourage you to go take cocaine because it feels great. But what I will say is this. It'll get y'all so caught up in that feeling and wanting it so bad that you're really going to put yourself in a bad situation because she's a baddie. And then you'll actually see the evil in her eyes. But until then, you just can't see it. So if you've never been in that situation, you don't get it and don't get into it. But really, guys, you've got to look past their bodies and looking at a girl who can give you that sloppy toppy because, guys, it's just it's a horrible thing to be in. It's just horrible, man. And I'm tired of seeing men end up in these situations and get deleted or they end up deleting themselves because it just it, get, it gets so horrible that these guys don't know how to find a way out. So anyway, stay away from these women, brothers. Stay away.